Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, we are going to continue to do some uh, suggestions um, and, and try to give you little tips and tricks for video, uh, for video, for videos, for um, blue screens on Windows. Once again, a lot of people are under the impression that Windows is unstable and problematic. Well, it's not. It's extremely stable and 99% of blue screens are done and arrive because of bad software installed, viruses, or bad drivers, or some part of your system that's uh, the hardware has a problem, or, you know, sometimes there are two things here that we're going to check out. Not to underestimate that can cause you to have random blue screens, or have a blue screen when you try to upgrade to a version or install Windows 10. On the first video, we told you, unplug everything really install windows to its basic form but in um, in some cases there are also other things that can actually make you go and have blue screens one of them um, that is often overlooked because people have no idea what it is most of the time is the bios or uefi firmware of your computer that plays a essential role in stability in your system. Computers and motherboards have a little code, a little program, because without it, your PC couldn't even start because it didn't would not even know what to do. That code checks for uh, you know your devices, make sure that everything's all right, um, ensures com proper communications between hardware, and of course. This plays a big role in how Windows can handle your hardware. And so when it gets old, sometimes it also has problems dealing with some newer versions of Windows that might have changed the way something is handled in the hardware or software and cause random blue screens. It could also be buggy. Uh, there often are UEFI and BIOS updates because they find bugs within that software that is pre-installed if you want in your computer. The hard part of this and I recommend that you probably you know have somebody that's knowledgeable to do this is finding and updating that hardware that BIOS or that that firmware because you have to go to the manufacturer web page and find that information to actually update your system and it's not always easy to to know and it's a delicate uh, situation because if your pc shuts down or if something happens while you're updating the bios or your ufi firmware your computer could end up being a really expensive brick and so it's very important that you know do let let it uh, be done by somebody that knows what he's doing um, and it's surprising the amount of times that you could have blue screens because the BIOS or the UFI is too old. Another thing to look at that is surprisingly a uh, cause of problems for blue screens, uh, and especially the random blue screens, is bad random access memory. Bad RAM is more common than you might think. And as a computer ages, good RAM can actually become bad. So this is something I've seen uh, enough to tell you that it is cause of concern for computers that have random blue screens here and there. It is, you know, the when the RAM goes bad, what happens is that some of the bits that are written in the RAM memory might not be correct or might change. And that means that when the execution of that code arrives, it actually runs into a problem because the code isn't correct and it crashes Windows. Sometimes it's not that it's bad, but one of the things you need to make sure is that it's properly seated in the slots inside the computer. Once again, the help of somebody that's more knowledgeable uh, that can help you out with this. Um, you know, I've, I've noticed sometimes it's just a question of removing the RAM, uh, you know, cleaning the contacts correctly, inserting it back, and then things come back to normal. 
uh, remember that your computer heats up and so that heat creates of course expansion of you know a very very small one but it's it's enough to sometimes do problems it creates a, a slight expansion of some of the contacts and of course as it cools down the expansion and the cooling down the contraction sometimes you know just the contacts need to be reseated properly these are all little things that can create blue screens and of course we'll have more tips and more blue screens tips and tricks videos coming up if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching